welcome back to a new video lecture and here we discuss a problem related with the shape factor and here we discuss an unsymmetrical i section okay unsymmetrical i section and the procedures are similar to the t section itself so the dimensions provided are the top flange is going to be 250 by 50 then this web it is going to be 200 by 50 then again the bottom flange is going to be 400 by 50 so that's the case so the total depth it is going to be 300 okay so 300 mm so using these equations s equal to z p by z y z y equal to i by y max so you, we need to calculate this y max for that you can either start take from this top or from bottom so if you are considering from top this a1 i1 y1 plus a2 y2 plus a3 by 3 divided by a1 plus a2 plus a3 so if you're considering this out this is your first one this is second one this is your third third one so the area 250 multiplied by 50 then the center of gravity if you are taking from here the top it is going to be 25 okay then again 50 multiplied by 200 the second rectangle then what about this center of gravity it is going to be 200 by 2 it is going to be 100 100 plus 50 so 150 you will get then what about here the center of gravity at, at this point 50 plus 200 plus the half of this 50 that is 25 275 and divided by this area a1 plus a2 plus a3 you will get this value y top it is going to be 172.058 mm okay and if you take from the bottom it is going to be total depth it is going to be 300 then 300 minus 172.058 you will get this one so the y max value it is going to be this 172.058 mm so that's the case so next step is to calculate the moment of inertia for this i section for that you can apply this equation and if you start from the top portion you can see that the moment of inertia b you have to apply bd cube by 12 if you apply that equation 250 multiplied by 50 cube by 12 then plus area that is going to be 250 multiplied by 50 then you have to take the h1 square that means you have to take the distance between this center of gravity and the total center of gravity distance that is going to be 172.058 minus this uh, half the distance that is 25 in this case so this is the case similarly you can apply for the rest rest of the uh, figures also that is the middle section and for the bottom section that is the bd cube by 12 that is 50 multiplied 200 cube by 12 plus area 50 multiplied 200 then take the h1 square h2 square in this case so 172.058 minus 150 so that's the value for uh, this value that is 150 here central gravity distance then last portion 400 multiplied by 50 cube by 12 then plus area 400 into 50 then take the h3 square so that is going to be 172.058 minus 275 or you can take from either from the top or bottom anyway you can take okay and this will value will be your moment of inertia value and if you substitute this for zy you will get this zy value also then coming to the next one to calculate the zp value for that you have to consider the static plastic equilibrium that is the area above the plastic neutral axis going to be uh, equal to the uh, half of the total area okay the compression side will be in the top uh, top portion and bottom it is going to be tension side if you calculate the total area you will get this 42,500 mm square take the half you will get 21,250 mm square so if you take the same procedure that is if you consider this distance as a to the plastic neutral axis and the remaining it is going to be b and if you consider this value the remaining up to this point it is a minus 50 and if you uh, equate these values that is 250 multiple this value it is going to be 250 and this value it is going to be 50 so 250 multiplied by 50 plus a minus 50 multiplied by 50 you will get a equal to 225 mm and b equal to 
this remaining distance it is going to be 75 mm and to calculate the yc bar and yt bar or to apply in the zp values uh, you can uh, use this equation a1 y1 plus a2 y2 plus divided by a1 plus a2 so a1 in this case 250 multiplied by 50 then multiplied by y1 actually this y1 represents from this neutral axis to this half the portion that is if you the total height it is 225 and if you subtract that 25 you will get 200 so this distance it is going to be 200 then a2 this half the portion that is a minus 15 it is going to be a minus 50 it is going to be 175 multiplied by 50 then multiplied by this uh, this value that is 175 half that is 87.5 you'll get and divided by the area the yt bar that for that you have to apply the remaining section area that is a3 y3 plus a4 y4 divided by a3 plus a4 then the remaining distance it is going total height it is 200 then up to this this a minus 15 it is going to be 175 so 25 value for this much height actually 25 so 25 multi 50 divided multiplied by 25 by 2 the half the distance then a4 actually 400 by 50 then the half the distance that is up to this point that is 75 minus 25 okay so that's the case and that you will get the final value then after that you can substitute those values in this zp equation and you will get this shape factor that is 1.397 so this is the case related with the unsymmetrical i section so i hope the section is clear and with this we wind up today's section thank you